Roland Burris came to the Senate engulfed in a full media spectacle, but the fireworks faded quickly. Burris, as promised, demanded his seat in the Senate, got rejected, and that was it. I advised that uh, my credentials were not in order and I would not be accepted and I would not be seated. But CBS News has learned Senate Democrats are now rethinking Burris's rejection. Where last week Democrats bluntly said Burris will not be seated, period. They are now hinting they might consider seating Burris if Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich is impeached by the state legislature. And we await that proceeding as senators as well. The hard line against Burris is shifting both because of the publicity and his central argument that even if Blagojevich was trying to sell the Senate seat, there's no evidence Burris was a buyer. There's nothing wrong with Roland Burris and there's nothing wrong with his appointment. Meanwhile, in Minnesota, Norm Coleman is appealing the recount vote that gave his Senate seat to actor and comedian Al Franken. In the Senate, Majority Leader Harry Reid urged Coleman to simply quit. Graciously conceding would be the right step. This can't drag on forever. This race will be determined by Minnesota voters, not by Harry Reid. But while there was chaos in the Senate, the House's first day was a family affair and far less partisan, with Republicans responding to the new outreach from the president-elect. When our president, uh, our new president, extends his hand across the aisle uh, to do what is right for our country, Republicans will extend ours in return. Roland Burris actually returns here to the Senate tomorrow to meet with the Democratic leadership, and this meeting could get interesting. Several Democrats told us today that Burris will help his case if he offers not to run for the full term in 2010. In other words, Katie, there's just a lot of old-fashioned political concern here. He's not the right candidate to beat a strong Republican two years from now. Wyatt Andrews reporting from Capitol Hill tonight.